The International Space Station has been in orbit for almost three decades. And recently, we learned more about NASA's plan to deorbit it using a super version of the Dragon spacecraft by SpaceX. While I'll cover that in a bit, I want to address what happens after the ISS is no longer operational. There have been misconceptions that with no successor plan by NASA, the only remaining station would be the Chinese space station, forcing the US, Europe, Canada, and Japan to send their astronauts there. However, this is not true. Several private space station projects are in the works, even if not all may reach orbit due to the high cost and uncertain market. One of the most promising is Axiom Space Station, which will start as a commercial extension of the ISS, supported in part by NASA funding, but largely by private investments. Modules are being built now, and the project aims to be fully operational by 2026. Axiom's design even features a new panoramic version of the cupola for tourists who want an immersive Earth viewing experience. Once the ISS is decommissioned, the Axiom modules will detach and operate independently. Another ambitious project is VAST's Haven Space Station, which follows a simpler approach with a single module launched on a Falcon 9 rocket. It aims to provide more room and life support for crews on private space flights. The company has scaled back from its initial vision of spinning stations for artificial gravity, but is still actively developing hardware. Then there's Starlab, part of NASA's commercial Low Earth Orbit Destinations program, now backed by Northrop Grumman and Airbus. Starlab includes a power module, habitation space, and docking ports, allowing for possible expansion and continuous crew presence. It will rely on Dragon spacecraft for crew transport and use Starship-class rockets for launch. The most ambitious of all is Blue Origin's Orbital Reef, a massive multi-modular station primarily launched by New Glenn rockets. With inflatable modules developed by Sierra Space, Orbital Reef has significant backing from Jeff Bezos and aligns with Blue Origin's vision of moving manufacturing into space. While these projects progress, NASA is also focused on the Gateway Lunar Station, an international effort to support future moon missions. The Gateway will be a crucial step toward understanding the challenges of long-term human spaceflight beyond low Earth orbit, dealing with issues like increased radiation exposure and the lack of Earth's protective atmosphere. As for Russia, they face a challenging future. Their segment of the ISS is aging and could struggle to operate independently. While they have plans for a new sun-synchronous orbiting station, funding remains a significant hurdle. Collaborating with China could be an option, but logistical challenges make that unlikely. And now finally, NASA's deorbit plan for the ISS involves using a modified Dragon spacecraft to precisely push the station into the ocean. This pusher vehicle will have 20 tons of propellant and 30 Draco thrusters to ensure a controlled descent. While SpaceX hasn't announced plans for a new space station, they might propose using Starship as a temporary station for on-orbit experiments. Overall, even as the ISS nears retirement, humanity's presence in low Earth orbit will continue, with new and exciting private and international projects on the horizon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, keep looking up and stay curious, because the universe is always waiting for you to explore.